Shalom, shalom. Shalom sana, shalom, shalom. Ibayales. Shalom, 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 and praise the name of the living God. Shalom, Kenya. Shalom, Israel. Shalom, everyone. My viewers all over the world, wherever you are following me. Tonight, karibu katika saa ya maombi na maombezi. Leo tuko live hapa. Karibu sana. Niambi unatufatilia kutoka wapi. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tuanze na kusema shalom Kenya, shalom Israel, shalom my family in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me know where you are getting me from tonight. Itakuwa jambo la baraka mno katika jina safi la Yesu Kristo. Naona message zako hapa zimesha anza kuingia watu wananiambia mahali ambapo wanatufuatilia wakiwa So tonight let me know where you are getting us from in the name of Jesus Christ My name is Prophet Tolemo this is Fireland Worship Center Na hii ni masaa na madakika ya kubarikiwa na Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo Niko na ujumbe kwa ajili yako na kwa ajili ya Wakenya pia katika jina la Yesu Kristo wanazebetalia hai Niambie kama unatupata vizuri sauti iko loud and clear ama iko na kasoro na kama unaona picha yangu vizuri eh pia mtakuwa mnamulika hiyo kamera tu um, ta alafu na observe tu tuone vile iko mm. Unarudisha pande hii tuone kama itatoa better zaidi If you are getting me loud and clear let me know in the name of Jesus Christ. Unatufuatilia ukiwa wapi? Yeah. Unatufuatilia ukiwa wapi usiku wa leo? Ah, uh, Felista Hunt anasema Shalom Prophet, Shalom sana Felista, karibu mwanga mwadimi anasema Oh praise God my prophet, I have been looking for you for more than 20 minutes. I'm happy I got you. Karibu sana mwanga mwadime. We are here. Karibu sana. Uh, we are here Washington State. Karibuni sana how is Washington Cecil Muhunzi? Praise God Cecil from USA Seattle. Karibu sana Cecil. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, Felista Hunt, <laughs> my 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 aunt. Auntie, how are you? Ukiwa South Africa, mnaendeleaje? Huyu ni sister ya mama yangu. Kwa hiyo ni kama mama yangu tu. Ananifuatilia akiwa South Africa. Anastasia Washira, Shalom, Shalom Kenya, Shalom Israel. Karibu sana Anastasia. Amen, amen. Elisha Kosgei, karibu sana. Shalom Prophet tune in from Cap Summit. Uh mwanga mwadime asema we are getting and seeing you clearly and you are looking sharp and smart as always. Thank you so much. Uh, mwanga mwadime mkiwa kule majuu nimepokea kabisa. Um my mom anasema tunakupata sawa sawa mtumishi wa Mungu. Asante sana auntie yangu ukiwa South Africa. Ninafurahi kwamba unatufuatilia jioni ya leo. Yesinta njihia naona ameingia anasema tune in na God bless you so much karibuni sana in the name of Jesus Christ kwa message ninaona watu wa wengi wananiuliza prophet unakuja hiyo mkutano ya Beni Hill ninakuja niwekeeni kiti sawa <laughs> nakuja niwekeeni kiti God bless you so much in the name of Jesus Christ Yee habali kuna basia kera davo zabeka lia na bai 
Ah uh, Felix Mbone anasema Shalom Shalom Prophet. Shalom sana Felix karibu sana. In the name of Jesus Christ. Britrice Rotich anasema Shalom Fireland Shalom Kenya. Karibu sana. Ah uh, Daffy Masogange watching from Mombasa. We love you man of God. Thank you. I love you too. Thank you so much my people from Mombasa. Um Mombasa kuko namna gani na wapenda sana. Rono Kenneth anasema I'm watching from uh, so Seguton Kurosei North. Karibu sana habari ya Kurosei North kuna semaje. Leo nataka niwaambie mshindi wa hiyo kiti ya AU. Chea paso. Nataka niwaambie unajua si wadanganyaji. <laughs> Alafu sasa ukae chini ungoje hiyo matarehe tuone kama Mungu anadanganya. <laughs> <coughs> Naona bwana Eric yuko hapa anashikilia anashikilia anasema akibaba aki yeah. lakini nitawaambia kati ya hao watu ambao utawaona hapo nitakuelezea vile itakuwa na vile kutaenda na ni vizuri watu wao wanasikia kutoka kwa Mungu lakini pia leo nitakupatia unabii and i will be interpreting your dream tonight kwa hiyo usikuwe na haraka nita interpret your dream tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Karen Minishi mwanangu shujaa na kuona karibu sana. Anasema tune in. Jennifer Kasimu watching from Ruiru karibu sana Jennifer Kasimu. Ah uh, Peshi TV Pesha tune from Machakos karibu sana. Um Consil Muhunzi mu, prophet had about from Wadime I'm very sick need prayers. Huyu anahitaji maombi anasema anaumwa sana. Tutamwombea tonight, tutamwombea kabisa na ili aweze kupona. So make sure una share make sure una share hii video, una share hii clip, una share hii link kwa group tofauti, waambie watu prophet Tolemo anawaambia wa Kenya uh, uh, mshindi atakayekuwa mshindi katika kiti ya AU uh, African Union Chairperson uh, between two of these people na anasema karibu sana watu wangu wherever you are my people Kenyans my lovely people watu wengi wanasema kwamba wana miss prophet sana especially those people who are far away from Kangundo and far away from Kenya but one thing you don't know i missed i missed you a lot and so much more than you do watu wangu wa UK Canada United States of America mnachagua president na leo nitawaambia president wa America anayekuja ni nani nitawaambia Although nilisha sema lakini I will tell you because watu wanangoja anangoja kinywa cha Mungu kiki ki, mouthpiece ya Mungu iongee iongee watu wa America mnamtaka nani <laughs> mnamtaka nani watu wa America mnataka Joe Biden ama mnataka Donald Trump mnamtaka mm? nani watu wa America Eh, nitaangalia message zenu tu I, I will be reading your comments in the name of Jesus Christ so let me know where you are getting us from tonight in the name of Jesus Christ so I will be sharing uh, with you tonight who will be the chairperson of AU and who will be the president of United States of America immediately after election je election itarudiwa ama itafanya nini kutakuwa na makesi ama vipi kutakuwa na attempt za assassination ama kutakuwa namna gani i will be telling you i will be telling you also tonight i will be interpreting your dreams because dreams interpretations it is it is biblical remember very well is biblical tunaona joseph kwa bible akiwa ako gerezani alikuwa anatafsiri ndoto za wengine so for me to interpret your dream Remember that this is very biblical very biblical in the name of Jesus Christ andika hapo sitakufa nitaishi andika tu sitakufa nitaishi 
katika jina la Yesu Kristo. You can write anything in the name of Jesus Christ. You can write anything. So um tonight tuko na muda wa baraka sana wa kubarikiwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo wanaanza betalia hai i also have a word of god for you from above you need to know what god is saying about you ama concerning you in the name of jesus christ tutakupatia milango leo ambayo imekuwa ikimefungwa milango ya visa milango ya passport milango ya safari kuna watu wako kule nje far away from their country but hawana hawana makaratasi ama mabarua ama certificates I'm seeing some people uh, looking for some documents up there but tonight I will be praying for you I will be pray uh, I will be praying for your children wache kusumbuka in the name of Jesus Christ so uh, kuna watu pia wako ngambo hawana makazi hawana malazi hawana mahali pa kuishi and that's why to, tonight i just want to sing this song remember uh in a prophetic night so hii wimbo ambayo ninaimba ni wimbo ambayo imeimbwa na mtumishi wa Mungu apostle Kiande is it yeah apostle Kiande apostle Kiande apostle Kiande na apostle uh, apostle Kiande and Munishi na Angela Chibalonza marehemu na Emachichi walinifanya sana nikapata na ile hamu ya kuimba sasa sana yes. wakati nilikuwa shule walikuwa wanakuja kufanya crusade kule mpakani nyumbani mpakani mwa Kenya na Tanzania pale na manga yeah. so nikawa ninaenda crusade zao na uniform na I remember Kiande akija kina Angela nilikuwa nawasaidia kubeba hizo speaker kuunganisha na nini yeah. wanilikuwa wananiita eh hey, kijana kuja kijana yeah. kuja so they inspired me wakanifanya nitamani kwa hiyo nyimbo zao zote naweza nikaziimba kabisa na huzuni moyo ni mimi simbi nalia namlilia malebo amekata kuokoka lakini tuache za munishi tonight tuimbe ya kiande kama mbili ama moja kuna wimbo ambao inasema watumishi wangapi nyumbani wanakula na kunywa na mimi nasumbukia maisha kwenye inchi ya mbali mm. na mimi nasumbukia maisha kwenye inchi ya mbali wakati naimba huu wimbo imba pamoja nami kwa roho na uendelee kuwa connected na kunisikiliza katika jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth alia hai. So nitengeneze keyboard vizuri na microphone hiyo <coughs> iko sawa. Glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God. Ah. Watumishi wangapi nyumbani wanakula na Nami nasumbukia maisha kwenye inchi ya mbali. Watumishi wangapi nyumbani wanakula na kunywa. Nami nasumbukia maisha kwenye inchi ya mbali. Chakula ni tabu, hata kulala ni shida. Suruali zito ya nileme ya sababu ya viraka. Chakula ni tabu, hata kulala ni shida. Suruali zito ya nileme ya sabangu ya viraka Let me know where you are getting me from In the name of Jesus Christ bless you Apostle Kiande wherever you are Ninasikia uko kule United States of America Kumbuka Kenya uje tena 
my friend Watu mishi wanga pinyumba ni wanakula na kunywa Na mina sumbuki ya maisha kwenye inchi ya mbali Watu mishi wanga pinyumba ni wanakula na kunywa Na mina sumbuki ya maisha kwenye inchi ya mbali Chakula ni tambu, ata kulala ni shina Suru alizi toya ni leme ya sababu ya viraka Chakula ni tabu, ata kulala ni shina Suru alizi toya ni leme ya sababu ya viraka Obsabu sauti kusiwe na kelele Tangu zamani za adamu alipopote ya mbali Na sisi sote tumepote ya tuwali ya utumwa Tangu zamani za adamu alipopote ya mbali Na sisi sote tumepote ya tuwali ya utumwa Tarudi nyumbani ni mwina mie baba Niseme ni mekosa mbele zake na mbele zake mbele Tarudi nyumbani, ni mwina mie baba Niseme ni mekosa mbele zake na mbele zake mbele Mokosi ya na kungoje ya uje kwa keupone Kwa nini unatese kambali na mizigo ya kambi Na mokosi ya na kungoje ya uje kwa keupone Kwa mini yesu, sema yeye ni mwana Ata kupa uwezo kufajika mtoto wa mwana Kwa mini yesu, sema yeye ni mwana Ata kupa uwezo kufajika mtoto wa mungu Watu mishi wanga pinyumba ni wanakula na kunywa Na minasumuki ya maisha kunywa Watu mishi wanga pinyumba ni wanakula na kunywa Na minasumbuki ya maisha kunye inchi ya mbali Chakula ni tabu, ata kulala ni shida Suru alizi toya ni leme ya sababu ya viraka Chakula ni tabu, ata kulala ni shida Suru alizi toya ni leme ya sababu ya viraka Sote tumepote ya tuwali ya utumo Tangu zamani za adamu alipopote ya mbali Na sisi sote tulipote ya tuwali ya utumo Darude nyumbani ni mwina mie baba Niseme ni mekosa mbele zake na mbele zake mbele Darude nyumbani ni mwina mie baba Niseme ni mekosa mbele zake na mbele zake Kambali na mizigo ya kambi Na mokosi ya na kungoje ya uje kwa keupo Kwa nini unatese kambali na mizigo ya kambi Na mokosi ya na kungoje ya uje kwa keupo 
mkosi anakungojea uje kwake uko Mwamini Yesu sema yeye ni bwana atakupa uwezo kufanyika mtoto wa Mwamini Yesu sema yeye ni bwana atakupa uwezo kufanyika mtoto wa Mwamini Yesu sema yeye ni bwana atakupa uwezo kufanyika mtoto wa Yes indeed watumishi wangapi nyumbani wanakula na kunywa na mimi nasumbukia maisha kwenye nchi ya mbali hii wimbo ni historia ya mwana mpotevu still mpaka leo baba wa mbinguni anasema njo nyumbani njo kwake upone God bless you so much ninaona message ya watu wengi sana 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 zimemiminika kwa kweli zimemiminika kwa kweli um, wimbo wa mwisho ambaye ninaimba uh, sante sana nitasoma hizi message zote nitataja majina yako kabisa um, asante sana so karibuni wote katika jina la Yesu Kristo now um, what i want us to do now ni kuendelea ku comment shalom israel shalom kenya na wimbo huu ya pili ya mwisho ya imeimbwa na uh, evangelist aposto honere bokiande <laughs> ndio majina kamili ndio majina kamili so ni watu ambao wali walinilea na niliwapenda sana Ka, uh, kiande angela chibalonza munishi machi china wale wengine nyuki kuna joseph nyuki joseph nyuki pia uh, wa wamenilea lea <laughs> kina mwaitege na kina rozi so uh, kuna wimbo yake ameimba ambaye inasema mm, inasemaje wimbo huu moyo una ugonjwa wa kufisha moyo una ugonjwa wa kufisha moyo 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 una ugonjwa wa kufisha moyo 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 una ugonjwa wa kufisha Moyo 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 na ugonjwa wa kufisha moyo na ugonjwa wa kufisha moyo wa vijana moyo udanganya vigenge kila siku mabaya kuyatenda fedha ya kwa wazazi moyo kudanganyika fedha ya kwa wazazi fedha ya kwa wazazi tunaimba live Oh, oh, oh. 
mama ni mulevi fedha ya kwa watoto moyo kona nganyika fedha ya kwa watoto fedha ya kwa watoto Asante sana wapiga vyombo Mungu wa uzima wabariki sana God bless you so much uh, ni wimbo wa Apostle Kiande zamani sana ameziimba na ameimba nyimbo za baraka sana ambaye zinabariki and we thank God for him and for them in the name of Jesus Christ Asante sana uh, Martin Wainaina anasema Matiuno ainana anasemaje anasema Shalom Kenya. John Murimi anasema sitakufa nitaishi na Mwenda Janet na kuona. Ah uh, oh kumbe na Mwenda Janet anasema omwami Yesu ne injela. <laughs> oh kumbe ni kiluya hiyo. Ah uh, wow kumbe ni kiluya. Tunaona najua jua kiluya kidogo alafu fever bear sheba na kuona anasema surely Jesus is the way. Antony Munene anasema shalom 
uh, shalom shalom sana fire shalom israel shalom kenya thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much um <laughs> thank you so much rose brian anasema shalom kenya na kuona phyllis mbone anasema i love the song it's really touching may the lord touch your life tonight in the name of jesus christ kevin kitogo na kuona anasema uh, shalom kenya wa uh, wanga kiragu shalom uh, kenya following from nairobi shalom sana uh, Recho Getao anasema I'm not going to die sawa kabisa Peter Makau anasema getting you from Kibwezi God bless you habari ya Kibwezi Gladys Mora anasema the song is touching and inspiring may God bless you as always thank you so much Gladys Mora Lilian Kiprop na kuona shalom uh, sana shalom sana Milka Simatwa shalom sana na kuona ukiwa Kitale Maurice Mori shalom Kenya shalom sana Ian Njeru anasema me and my family will not die we shall live. Noah Keteipa anasema be blessed man of God. Asante sana Felisa Hunter. I believe Jesus is Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Na mwenda Janet na kuona Arbana Spita kweli kumtumikia Mungu kwa hitaji kujitolea. May God bless you dad and give you power to keep on. Amen. Asante sana Arbana Spita. Noa Letepa anasema Mungu ni msiri kwa hakika. I am watching from Nairobi. Asante Mary Mateget ana tufuatilia akiwa nakuru. Shalom sana. Shalom sana Lucy Muredhi nakuru. Anasema uh, atakufa, ataishi. Shalom sana Lizzie Lizzie anasema shalom Kenya. Aha, atakufa, ataishi. Amina. Margaret Sein uh, karibu sana ukiwa nakuru Rosalind Masharia anasema glory to God nimefika Nairobi saa tatu pm je utachukua simu saa ngapi Rosalind Masharia kuna watu wametoka ngambo um, munene yeah. wako huku Kenya Vingi, wengine wanakuja Sunday <coughs> na ro Rosalind Mashari ya pia naona amefika anasema amefika saa tatu Karibu sana, karibu nyumbani, karibu Kenya, karibu Fireland. God bless you tunakupenda, tunataka tukuone. Beti Wanjeri anasema akiwa South Korea. Anasema pray for us akiwa South Korea. Aha. Ah, uh, Felista anasema what a beautiful voice you have servant of God. What a an inspiring inspiration you are to our world thank you so much mama thank you so much uh uni ni kama mama yangu tu mara ni auntie yangu anastasia washira anasema sitakufa nitaishi usikufe tukae kai bts rotich na kuona sana anasema pray for my son to get documents and job tutawaombea leo kabisa namulala nebata anasema sitakufa na kuona kabisa mnamo lala leba tuko hapa Lilian Deritu na kuona uh, na umwa na kiuno sana watching from Nairobi tutamwombea leo pia apone Phyllis Mbone atakufa Jesinta Njihia atakufa uh, Romano Valbiano anasema uh, sitakufa Margaret Sein Beatrice Rotich mm -hmm. Lilian Waitheria Damaris Mumbua watoto wangu mzee wangu familia yangu wataishi wataishi sana beti wanjeri anasema yes prophet mm -hmm. uh, okay thank you uh, penina meme sita kufa nitaishi amen pati kamau elisha kosgei na kuona sana ya yeah, hata kufa elizabeth mbiti hata kufa uh, Pesh, peshi tv hata kufa beti wanjeri hata kufa yes andungu hata kufa morris muri hata kufa Watu anakataa kufa tukaekaeni jamani tukaekaeni leo tumezika ule mkimbiaji maarufu lakini tumeumia sana tutai ndo maana nasema watu wakatae kukufa eh, zingine ni maspiriti ya makifu tunakataa kwa jina la Yesu Kristo eh. uh, Robert Lekoli anasema Yesu ninye ngoitoi na ninye the day ninye goitoi nalo netiva hapa huyu uh, ameandika kimasai robert lekoli eh, 
amenikumbusha wimbo mwingine iliibwa na anaitwa nani huyu Reverend Yesu wangu iroya nani nyewonga <laughs> Alikuwa I, I think ni ole mereu ole mereu ole mereu nenda ameimba hiyo wimbo ananikumbusha hapa Beti Wanjeri anakataa kufamili sana Juma na namuona ameingia hapa yeye akufi Naomi Karasha yeye pia akufi Phyllis Mbone akufi Agnes Ogutu anasema praise the lord watching from Maldivin Mal Maldiv Maldives Maldives eh mm. God bless our country Kenya God bless you so much uh, uh, Agnes Ogutu ukiwa kule mali uliko Rose Bryan amekataa kufa hapa uh, Penina Munene ame, amekataa kufa yuko Malindi James Koinange na kuona Shalom sana my son fanikiwa sana Nelson Washie amekataa kufa Daudi Nancy Daudi Nancy tulitumana kalenda yenu leo uh, mtapokea kalenda yenu kwa G4S I think wameniambia itawafikia kesho so watawapigia simu Parcel yenu iko kwa njia Ah, uh, Daudi Nancy, shalom sana. Mwanga madime, yes, yes. Martin Wainaina, John Murimi, ah, uh, Anthony Munene, shalom sana. Watu ni wengi, jamani, jamani, jamani. Watu ni wengi. Odhiambo ah uh, Odhiambo Alaro, huo ni David Alaro from Migori. Hata ye anakataa kufa, kuna kufa watu ya migori hakuna kufa hatuwezi kufa watu wa migori tunakaa Joseph Muli God bless you Elizabeth Mbiti Prophet kumbuka kijana wangu Aniongeleshi Siji kwa nini hata nimempigia simu uapokee na sijawahi teta na yeye nitakwambia kwa nini akuongeleshi na kuambia kwa nini na hiyo ni roho mbaya ni roho chafu kabisa God bless you so much and watu nimeona okay sitasoma majina yenu kwa Mpesa nimeona watu wameanza kutoa sadaka ya jioni ya leo lakini ngoja tusome Biblia ili ujue sadaka ya leo inaitwaje leo sadaka ya leo iko na jina yake very special tuko na pastor Sami hapa my assistant pastor karibu sana pastor Sami utusalimie Nashukuru sana baba ndio kwa nafasi hii ya yeah. usiku wa leo ya nyumba naam nitashukuru Mungu kwa yote alitenda yes na wasalimia wote naam walio ndani nje ya Kenya ya yeah. na nje ya nje yes bwana Yesu asifiwe amina sana na wakaribisha wote fire and worship center amen ili tuweze kupona amina na ninaamini Mungu atawakomboa na atawaponya. Haleluya. Amen. Ekueme! Ekueme! Haya bala seka ya ba. Eh, I like I love worship. I like worship the Lord. My God in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, sasa tunaanza namna hii. By the way tuko na testimonies. Tuko na nipatie testimony moja. Nipatie testimony moja kama tuko na testimony nipatie testimony moja hapo tonight leo lazima watu wapokee testimony sir in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth sir eh yeah, testimonies testimonies eh yeah. this is prophetic kwa hiyo testimony ambayo ina appear on your screen pokea testimony in the name of Jesus Christ my goal uh Nafikiri alikuwa anaandika msichana wake my girl has recovered completely and she will be discharged tomorrow after final check up on her eyes and general well-being i thank god for the healing it was god's touch thank you for the prayers glory to god na mimi nikamjibu amen 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 to god be the glory forever in jesus mighty name god bless you for sharing the testimony shalom sana usiondoe ikae tu hapo uh, my viewers all over the world even ndio tunaanza wherever you are seeing this testimony huu ni mama 
ambaye yuko USA na mtoto wake alikuwa hapa Kenya na ghafla kuna kitu attack ilimpata na akanijulisha kwamba kuna attack imepata mtoto wangu na hii attack ambayo imepata mtoto wangu naomba uniombe kwa sababu ako hali mbaya in fact alikuwa ICU alikuwa amewekwa mahali ambapo hapakuwa na matumaini but nikaomba na wao nikaombea huyu mtoto huyu mama hata alikuwa na imani sana alitolea huyu mtoto sacrifice ndio akasema huyu mtoto atakufa atapona na mkono wa Mungu tukairuhusu ikafuatilia huyu mtoto kwenda kumrudisha na saa hii as we are talking are you hospitalini because hii me, hii message ni ya ni ya ni ya last week so saa hizi ako discharge kabisa na anatembea anaona na kila kitu so mtu yoyote ambaye anatazama this testimony apoke testimony in the name of Jesus Christ can you write down your your your, your comments down there i receive testimony i receive my testimony in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth ekuweme 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 Receive your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is good when uh, when wakati tunaenda uh, prophetic. Maisha yetu ni prophetic. Maisha yetu ni prophetic. Nilitabiri. Kuna wakati nilitabiri na wakati huo nilitabiri ni immediately after uchaguzi kukaa kidogo upande wa upinzani wakatenga kalonzo na wale wengine alafu upande huu mwingine kimani ishungwa na wale wengine wakutane waongelele mjadala fulani so naomba hiyo picha uh, kama hii picha unaiona kwa screen yako sasa hivi remember i prophesied about this thing i prophesied about this thing na katika nchi ya Kenya wapo watumishi wa Mungu. Hatujipigi kifua. Wako watumishi wa Mungu. Ndio. Lakini unajua watumishi wa Mungu wako wengi sana. Wako wengi sana. Kuna mengine nimeona juzi anapaka wa mama mafuta sehemu usitaji. Adimu sana. Sasa huyo bisho sio anajita bisho nani yeah. watu jamani eh? watu jamani na wana rekodi kwa video eh hiyo upusi yeah. ni bishop anavaa ngo nyekundu anavaa kichwa kitu kwa kichwa kitambaa mm. <coughs> sauti yao kindiki atawafuata yeah. <coughs> mimi siko <laughs> So um 
Hapa Hapa unaona Kenya has begun the journey to amend the constitution to uh, allow the creation of new position such as the office of the opposition leader and the prime cabinet secretary na nilisema hii kitu nilisema hii hakuta kuwa na handshake Kenya i said it hakuta kuwa na handshake <coughs> na watu walikuwa nafikiri kutakuwa na handshake kweli sasa hii angalia mahali imeishia imenyamasa hivyo sasa hii ni mambo ya siasa ya 27 kalonzo ama ama AU Raila ama <laughs> sasa <laughs> ile kitu nataka kuongelelea leo ni who will be the chairperson of AU na juzi nilisikia watu wa Mount Kenya <laughs> kuna nani ya uhuru walikuwa na, wanainua uh, watu wa Mount Kenya baadhi ya wa viongozi wa Mount Kenya walikuwa wanasema <laughs> Raila Odinga afai kuwa kuenda hiyo kiti ya AU cha person mm. lazima uhuru apewe uhuru apewe sasa watu wa Mount Kenya nimesikia wakisema uhuru tunataka uhuru tunataka uhuru apewe tunataka uhuru apewe <laughs> you see <laughs> you see now eh? as you can see uh, that picture wanasema give uhuru a you job not Raila say eh? some leaders from Mount Kenya polit eh? Eh? say section of Mount Kenya politicians mm. unaona wanase, walikuwa wanasema hapana tupatie uhuru Kenyatta hiyo kiti tupatie uhuru Kenyatta hiyo uh, kiti na unajua uhuru Kenyatta sasa hivi ameenda kufanyia campaign baba yeah ameenda kufanyia campaign baba yeah. amesafiri safiri chini ya maji lakini uh -huh. Ruto mwenyewe ame amemtafutia baba uh, amemtafutia Raila ndio msali ya Mudavadi amesafiri safiri huku kwenda kutafutia baba muda yeah. ya yeah. hiyo yeah. uh, angalao tupate hiyo kiti sisi kama East Africa kama yeah. Kenya Dio. lakini je hii kiti inakuja Kenya ama inaenda because ninaongea East Africa ninaongea East Africa East Africa huu ni wakati wetu yes. East Africa mm. lakini je ni wapi exactly East Africa I will say it nitaiongelelea kwa sababu sasa hivi tuko na hawa watu wawili. Kuna uh, as you can see that picture ya the former president of Tanzania. The former president of Tanzania. The former president of Tanzania as you can see on your screen. Huyu ni Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete. Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete. Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete. Kikwete. As you can see on your picture, huyo ni former president of the Republic eh, ya Muungano eh, ya Tanzania eh. Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania. Sababu Tanzania kuna ta Tanganyika. Yeah. Eh, na. Kwa hiyo uh, hii kiti kuna watu wawili kwa East Africa wanaitaka. Kuna huyu Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete uh -huh. na kuna huyu mwingine ambaye unamuona kwa picha ambaye ni ni wa kwetu ambaye ni baba wanamuita baba wanamuita baba so we have these two people we have these two people eh my viewers all over the world si mpige kura mnashagua nani hapa <laughs> kati ya watu wawili eh embu, embu toa unabii wako nione na, una, unasema nani atapita nani atashinda <laughs> eh bale so ya gada Uh -huh. So we have these two people. Nikimwangalia, unajua mimi nikiangalia picha hizi zote mbili. Ndio. Ninaweza nikafanya nini? Nika Unaona tu hata hata World Cup ikicheza. Ndio. Naangalia picha mbili ya hizo timu zinashindana hiyo bendera. Uh -huh. Alafu kuna point, kuna kuna mkono nyeupe ina point yeah. ya ya light, ina point yeah. bendera moja. Yeah. And then najua hawa ndio wanashinda. Hata presidents presidency hiyo kiti ya president wakati wanashindania hapo yeah. sasa ninaona uh -huh. uh, mkono ina point fulani. Yeah. So 
I want to tell you who is going to get it, who is, who is going to win this seat. So we have Raila Molo Odinga and we have this uh, man you see here on your screen, Jakaya Murisho Kikwete. Raila Odinga and Jakaya Murisho Kikwete. So for me as a prophet, if I I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this picture, Tanzania. If I'm looking at this picture, um, yeah, uyu president, former president wa Tanzania, Pasasami nastuka kidogo. Nastuka kidogo. So, Pasasami nadia pole. Kwa kuzituka. So nikimwangalia huyu uh, Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete nashtuka kidogo uh -huh. lakini namwangalia pia baba okay. so tutaenda media tutaenda fasta fasta namwangalia pia baba uh -huh. as you can see baba on your screen na unaona wote wamekaa wote wamekaa kwa kiti thank you so much Unaona baba amekaa kwa kiti uh -huh. staili yake na Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete amekaa kwa kiti staili yake. As you can see on your screen. As you can see on your screen. Tukiwa hapo hapo kwa your screen unaona Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete hapo na unaona baba ako hapo. Uh, for me Pastor Sami I'm praying that this seat should come to East Africa. Okay. Kwa sababu kama itakuja East Africa, yeah. kumbuka itakuwa ni mara ya kwanza kabisa. Yeah. East Africa kushikilia nafasi hii. Uh -huh. Na <coughs> hii kiti yeah. Unajua wa Kenya especially wengi waliongea matope na matusi yeah. wakati nilisema revival inakuja Kenya. Yeah. Hawakuwa wanajua ninasema ni nini inakuja Kenya. Uh -uh. Most of them waliruka. Your habitation and shall not see. Nawe utajua ya kwamba hema yako iko salama na zizi lako utaliaua yani utalipanua zizi lako wala usikose kitu kitu. Hakuna kupanua zizi na kukosa. Kweli. There will be no expansion and then after expansion you lack no never that is not according to the bible mwendo na mwendo wa jana nasema my prophet just prophesy i receive testimony e kaya deso ya sasa hawa wawili unawaona neno la Mungu ambalo tumelisoma leo ni neno ambalo linatamka kwamba usikose ni neno ambalo linasema nawe utajua ya kwamba hema yako iko salama listen to me very carefully listen to me very carefully because you know hata kama pasasami hata kama Raila amekuwa akifuatwa na hiyo ya kuanguka ndio tunaweza tukampitisha amen na watu wanaweza wakapinga kwamba hawezi kupita 
lakini tunaweza kutukampitisha amen so my viewers all over the world from wherever you are getting me from this is what i want to say tonight remember very well this is the word of god and the bible says ya kwamba utalipanua zizi lako kwa maana hautakosa na usiku wa leo nataka tuombe maombi ya kutokukosa kutokukosa punguza strings kidogo kutokukosa because roho ya kukoseshwa ina tawala wake but tonight tunaweza tukampitisha mtu wetu ama tukaacha hivyo tunaweza tukampitisha ama tukaacha hivyo kwa hiyo kama anaanguka tunaweza tukasema asianguke wewe usianguke tumshikilie so usiku wa leo Biblia inasema hautakosa kitu hautakosa kitu fanikiwa in the name of Jesus hautakosa kitu fanikiwa by fire by force hautakosa kitu sijui kama iko salama ama iko na bafu hautakosa kitu hautakosa kitu isibafa hapo kwa meseji hapa ndio unapeana vitu sasa hapa ndio unapeana vitu ukiona fb na sungua na kausa so wherever you are watching me from hautakosa visa hautakosa passport hautakosa kazi hautakosa in the name of Jesus Christ na kutabiria hautakosa in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hautakosa andika hapo chini nitafanikiwa nitafaulu sitakosa nitafanikiwa nitafaulu sitakosa in the name of Jesus Christ andika hapo sitakosa kitu sitakosa kitu this is my prayer hmm? anasema prophet umeanza kukatika katika eh, jamani eh? umetoka facebook mm -mm. isi katika katika mnaanza mka cancel facebook Yes. katika katika maana watu wameanza kupata matatizo. Eh? Mwingine anasema net. Mwingine anasema ina katika katika. Mwingine anasema network. Eh, eh, eh. So tengenezeni hiyo kitu ikae vizuri tu. You can cancel Facebook. Tuendelee na YouTube ili watu wa yache kukatika katika. so wale watu ambaye mnatufuatilia Facebook kujeni huko kwa YouTube sasa kujeni kwa YouTube tume cancel moja kwa sababu ya buffering hiyo hii buffer hiyo iwache ku naona watu wana teta hapa so wherever you are getting me hautakosa kitu 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 andika tu hapo chini sitakosa kitu sitakosa kitu have you cancelled the facebook but is it is still buffer okay 
Nataka iwe clear kabisa ili watu wote wale wananifuatilia duniani. Mm? Mana watu wanalamika wanapata matatizo. My tent will expand. Your tent will expand. Why? Because hautakosa kitu. Hema yako itapanuka. Nenda upanue hema yako kwa maana hautakosa kitu. My message tonight to you. Go and expand your tent because you will never lack. Nenda panua hema yako kwa maana hautakosa kitu. Panua hema yako kwa maana hautakosa kitu. Najua wengi mnataka kusikia about Kikwete ama Raila. Ni Raila ama Kikwete. Well and good nitakwambia sasa hivi. Lakini nataka nikutabirie kwanza. Nataka nitangase kwamba hautakosa kitu in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hautakosa kitu. Hautakosa kitu. Hauta kosa kitu. Hauta kosa kitu. Andika tu hapo sita kosa kitu. Andika kwenye comment yako kwamba sita kosa kitu. Sita kosa kitu. Mungu ameniambia nikutabirie usiku wa leo, nikutabirie asubuhi ya leo, nikutabirie. Ungeni nasema something is wrong prophet una katika katika. Prophet ina katika katika. Oh my What is this now? Net iko sawa? Ni nini imekaa vibaya? Hmm. Angalieni tu because watu waonipati vizuri so wanasema ina katika katika kwa hiyo hata sauti ina katika katika so they don't get what i'm saying na hii ndio tutafanywa kwa kura ni spina itafungwa <laughs> yeah. so if you are getting me now loud and clear andika tu ah uh, anasema media please do something on mm, network is very poor kindly watu wa media do something okay mm -hmm. what is wrong there is something wrong somewhere you have to 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 you have to hata kama ni kamera tu ondoa ama tumia tuone ni nini shida kwa hiyo usiku wa leo ninasema kwamba hautakosa bwana anasema hautakosa kitu ah uh, deno njoka anasema please pro prophet do something in network because it's the mm -hmm. i know there is something wrong somewhere kwa internet kwa mtandao the media group are working for it hata nilifikiri kwamba upande huu wa kwangu ndio kuna shida kumbe So let me know now if you are getting me sasa. Niambie kama unanifuatilia unanipata sasa. Nimesema usiku wa leo kwamba hautakosa kitu. Hautakosa kitu, hautakosa kitu. Panua hema yako kwa maana Bwana anasema hautakosa. Panua hema yako kwa maana Bwana anasema hautakosa kitu hautakosa kitu na usikose kitu fanikiwa in the mighty name of Jesus Christ nataka nikuombee tu usiku wa leo ukapate kufanikiwa milango yako ikafunguke in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth 
Karabou na ikosebedia. Hauta kosa kitu. Asema buwana wa majeshi. Hauta kosa kitu. Hauta kosa kitu. Andika tu hapo chini. Kwa comment yako kwamba sita kosa kitu. Sita kosa kitu. Sita kosa kitu. Sita kosa kitu. Andika hapo. Kwamba sita kosa kitu. Sita kosa kitu. Kama ni kamera tu inasumbua usirudi. Sita kosa kitu. Andika tu hapo kwa comment yako kwamba sita kosa kitu in the name of Jesus Christ. Andika tu sita kosa kitu. Na kama uh, na kama kuna sauti ambayo kama sauti na katika katika let me know in the name of Jesus Christ. Auta kosa kitu. By fire by force I prophesy ya kwamba auta kosa kitu katika jina la Yesu Kristo wanazo betalia hai andika tu message hapo ya kwamba sita kosa kitu biblia hapo tumesoma biblia inasema ya kwamba panua hema yako na hema yako itakuwa salama kwa sababu hautakosa kitu hii ina maana kwamba zizi lako halitakosa mifugo halitakosa mbuzi halitakosa ngombe haitakosa kondoo haitakosa ngamia haitakosa kitu ina maana na kwamba hii ni unabii direct kutoka kwa Mungu kwamba sasa utapata hata kama umekuwa ukitafuta na unakosa sasa utapata ninakutuma na anointing ya kwenda kupata ninakutuma na anointing ya kwenda kufanikiwa ninakutuma na mafuta ya kwenda kupata in the mighty name of Jesus Christ na ninakutabiria kwamba hautakosa in the name of Jesus Christ hautakosa in the rest of your life you will not lack you will never lack you will never lack you will never lack in the name of Jesus Christ Huni unabi na ni ujumbe kutoka juu Mungu ameniambia whoever is under the influence of my voice ni mtabirie kwamba hatakosa kitu hatakosa kitu hatakosa kitu Na Yesu siku zote huwa anatufuatilia to make sure tumepata kitu kwa sasa na ndio maana usiku ule Petro Petro usiku ule waliangaika mpaka asubuhi bila kupata chochote kwa bahari hawakuvua samaki hata moja hata chura haikubahatika kuingia kwa neti lakini Yesu akakuja mwendo wa asubuhi jua ikoe imeamuka na unajua kikawaida samaki huwa hawatokei mchana huwa wanaenda mbali kabisa kule kwa deep sea Yes. Lakini Yesu akamwambia Petro ya kwamba je ninaweza kutumia hii mashua yako. Petro akampatia kwa sababu haikuwa na kazi. Dio. Kwa hiyo akampatia ili aweze kutumia. Dio. Because haikuwa na kazi. Uh-uh. Lakini Yesu alipotumia mashua ya Petro kuhubiria injili habari njema. Na hii ndio maana huwa ninaambia watu Yesu hawezi akatumia chombo chako bure. Yesu hawezi akatumia sadaka yako bure kwa sababu wakati unatoa sadaka zako inatusaidia kulipa hizi bills za stima, bills za kompyuta hapa, inatusaidia kupata hizi microphone, hizi viti mzuri mzuri, viti ya kanisa, uh, inatusaidia kulipa askari walinzi wetu hapa, inatusaidia kufanya support mbalimbali. Mbali. Yaani Yesu hawezi akatumia sadaka yako bure. Na ndo maana alipomaliza ku kuhubiri injili akamuita Petro kuja hapa akamwambia chukua neti tuweka mpaka kilindini na Petro akashangaa kwa sababu Yesu anasema nini because that time ambaye Yesu anamwambia kuja tuweke mpaka kilindini nyavu sio masaa ya ku vua samaki masaa ya kuvua samaki ni wakati wa jioni na usiku lakini Yesu hakufuata program na taratibu yao Yesu hakufuata protocol ya wanadamu. Apa. Remember Jesus is a protocol breaker. Because kuna watu sasa hivi wanantazama na wanafikiria Mungu atatumia njia ambayo iko kwa akili yao. Apa. Mungu anakwenda kutumia, anakwenda kuvunja those protocols mm. ambayo imeandikwa kwamba ama imejulikana kwamba we lazima utumie njia hii ndio ufanikiwe. 
maana Petro alikuwa anajua kufanikiwa tu kupata samaki ni usiku ama jioni lakini Yesu alipomaliza kuhubiri injili akamuita akamwambia kuja tweka mpaka kilindini na tunaona wakati ambapo Petro alitweka alipungia wale wengine mikono kwa sababu neti nyavu zinataka kukatika why the owner of the fish has commanded him The owner of the fish, the creator of the fish is the one who commanded Peter to do so. So, samaki zilimsikia mwenyewe. Baraka zitamtii Yesu, sio wewe. Na zitamtii Yesu zitakuja kwako. Na ndio maana nimesema Yesu awezi akatumia chombo chako bure. Chombo chako bure. Sadaka yako ni chombo ambacho Yesu anaweza akatumia kuhubiria injili. Yesu anaweza prophet anaweza kutumia kuhubiria habari njema ama kufikia watu wengi kimataifa. Lakini Yesu hawezi kutumia chombo chako bure. Mfano mzuri tunaona kwa pita. Alimuomba atumie mashua yake. Wakati pita alimpatia, basi Yesu akarudisha mkono wa shukurani. Mkono wa shukurani. May the Lord answer your prayers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord remember you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I know very well. Hata sasa hivi pasa sasa ukiangalia kwa hizi simu. Ndio. Watu wameshaanza kuweka sadaka zao. Lakini nataka niwaambie watu hawa. Yesu hawezi akatumia chombo chako bure. Kuna reward itakuja baada ya hapo. Kuna reward itakuja baada ya hapo. And remember one thing and never forget it. Jesus is a protocol breaker. Protocol breaker. Jesus is the protocol breaker. Yeye hata tumia masaa ambayo sisi watu natumia. Hata tumia utaratibu ambayo sisi watu natumia. Hapana. Yesu anatumia yeye kivyake. Na mimi naomba kila mmoja whoever is under the influence of my voice Yesu ajidhihirishe kwako kwa njia tofauti sana in a very unique way. May the Lord reveal himself to your life. May the Lord reveal in himself to you. In the name of Jesus Christ because he is a protocol breaker. Hawezi akatumia chombo chako bure. Alimwambia Peter naomba nitumie hii mashua yako. Na Peter alipokubali mashua yake itumike na Yesu, basi akamuita akamwambia, "Tweka mpaka kilindini." Na Peter akashangaa, lakini Yesu akamkazia macho. Na Yesu alipomkazia macho, Peter akasema, "Kwa neno lako nitaenda." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kwa neno lako nitatweka mpaka kilindini. Tweka mpaka kilindini tonight tuweka mpaka kilindini tonight Yesu anaomba mashua yako atumie kuhubiria habari njema kuhubiria habari njema kupeleka habari njema kwenda kufungua watu tunaye crusade ambayo zimejipanga hivi zinatongojea tunaye crusade Isiolo tunaye crusade Loitokto tunaye crusade Kajado tunaye crusade Tanzania tunangojewa Tanzania so Yesu anaomba atumie chombo chako maana hautakosa kitu unaona baada ya petro kuruhusu yesu atumie chombo chake petro alienda nyumbani akiwa ako na kitu sana na kitu ambaye petro alienda naye nyumbani haikuwa kitu hivi hivi ilikuwa kitu kubwa sana hey, usizima hiyo 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 strings kabisa usiipotese kabisa yani kwa mbali yes petro Alienda nyumbani siku hiyo pasa sami na kitu kubwa. Sana. Na ndio leo naombea mtu hapa ambaye ananisikia aende nyumbani na kitu kubwa. Pile hajawahi pata. Aende nyumbani na kitu kubwa. Na viongozi wetu waende nyumbani na kitu kubwa. Amen. Yesu anasema hautakosa kitu. Kwa maandiko ambayo tumesoma. Andika hapo kwamba sitakosa kitu. Lucy Moredi anasema shetani ni muongo anaharibu network kwa sababu amesikia hatutakosa kitu whether he like it or not my territory will be enlarged 
na kweli ni shetani yeah nayo ukiangalia hakuna kibabu kwa sababu kuna kitu Shetani apendi upate kitu lakini Yesu anapenda upate kitu. Yesu akiwa kule alikuwa aliona Petro vile wamesumbuka usiku yote na wajapata kitu. Yesu amekuja leo ili upate kitu. Amen. Pokea kitu in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yesu amekuja upate kitu. Listen to me. Yesu akataka kuenda Petro akamwangalia. Akamwambia ondoka mbele yangu maana niko uchi. Nimeshajua wewe ni nani. <laughs> Yesu akamwambia Petro usiogope. Yeah. Kwa kuwa tangu sasa hautakuwa tena mvuvi wa samaki. Yeah. Nitakufanya kuwa mvuvi wa watu. Amen. Yaani amembariki at that moment na akampandisha cheo in the realm of the spirit. Yes. Kwa hiyo hii baraka ambayo inakuja kwako tonight ni baraka mara mbili. Wafanyabiashara wote mnayenisikiza amtakosa kitu. Yes. Wafanyakazi wote ambao mnanisikiza amtakosa kitu. Madereva amtakosa kitu. Wachungaji watumishi amtakosa kitu. Pata 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 kitu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Hautakosa kitu. Wakenya amtakosa kitu. Amtakosa kitu wherever you are hautakosa kitu in the name of Jesus Christ. Nataka niachilie hii unabii ndani ya roho yako ili kwamba usikose kitu maana umezunguka ya kutosha Mungu anasema katika mlima huu mumezunguka ya kutosha inatosha mlivozunguka sasa pateni kitu expand enlarge your territory expand your tent enlarge your territory because hautakosa kitu says the lord hautakosa kitu hautakosa kitu na sadaka ambayo tunatoa ama sacrifice ambayo tunatoa usiku wa leo right now ni sadaka ambayo inasema najua wengine wametangulia kutoa is okay ni sadaka ambayo inasema pasa sami sitakosa kitu amen hii sacrifice ninaiachilia hii tithe ninaiachilia hii sadaka ninaiachilia hii ndembo ninaiachilia ni dembo ni sadaka ya kusema sitakosa kitu ni sadaka ya kusema sitakosa kitu kwa hiyo utakuwa unakwenda kutafuta kiroho kwa sababu umetangulia kiroho umetangulia kimadhabau ukasema sitakosa kitu hata hii shamba ambayo niko na kesi nayo sitakosa hii shamba hawata ninyang'anya hii shamba hata hii maugonjwa ambayo yes. inanikodolea macho haita ninyang'anya pesa haita ninyang'anya uhai sitakosa uhai sitakosa pesa sitakosa kitu kwa hiyo sadaka ambayo tunatoa sasa hivi ni sadaka ya kusema sitakosa kitu nitapata sitakosa nitapata popote wherever i will go kama ni visa nitapata kama ni passport nitapata hizi documents ambayo ninazitaka nitapata amua tu kwamba umpatie Yesu chombo chako kama vile Petro alisema alafu uone Yesu akirudisha mkono kwa maisha yako tonight in the name of Jesus Christ nataka nikupatie nafasi ya wewe kutoa sadaka ya kusema sitakosa kitu sadaka ya kutuweka mpaka kilindini kutuweka mpaka kilindini because nimekwambia kwamba Yesu ni protocol breaker kina Petro walikuwa wanajua usiku na jioni ndio masaa ya kupata samaki yeah. lakini Yesu anapata saa yoyote yeah. Yesu anakupa saa yoyote ana break the protocol alafu anakupatia saa yoyote Tonight the spirit of the Lord is telling me that kuna mahali Mungu anakwenda kuvunja protocol ili aweze kubariki mtu hapa ambaye ananisikiliza. Na hii sadaka ambayo unainua leo jitahidi kuinua sacrifice ambayo itagusa mbingu pamoja na ardhi na itagusa pamoja na bahari. Popote mahali baraka zako zimewekwa. Samaki za Petro zilikuwa zimefichwa huko deep inside lakini nguvu ya Yesu na command ya Yesu akaamuru samaki zifuate na zikuje mpaka ziingie kwa ile nyavu Amen. ya Petro 
Kwa nini? Kwa sababu Petro amekubali mashua yake. Amekubali chombo chake kifanyie Yesu kazi. And if you don't know, sadaka yoyote ambayo umekuwa ukitoa, your tithe, your sacrifice. Hiyo ni chombo ama mashua umekuwa ukipatia Yesu ahubirie. Umekuwa ukipatia Mungu chombo chako akitumie. Na siku zote biblical hakuna vile Mungu anaweza akatumia chombo chako uwe. He will reward you. Kwa hiyo nataka uchukue fursa hii kutumia namba ambaye zinaapia on your screen kuachilia sadaka yako ya kusema kwamba sitakosa kitu ya kusema kwamba i will not lack i will never lack tumia namba hizo sote ambazo zinapita kwa screen yako uweze kuachilia sacrifice nzito ya kusema kwamba ya kwamba i will sitaweza kukosa kitu ninampatia Yesu chombo changu akitumie ninampatia Yesu chombo changu kitumike firelander hiyo ni dhabihu yako hiyo ni sadaka yako hiyo ni sacrifice yako ili kwamba uweze kuweka kwenye anga yako maneno haya kwamba sitakosa sitakosa kwamba sitakosa chukua nafasi sasa ili uweze kutoa sadaka yako in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth alafu nitaweza kukubariki na nitaweza kutamka baraka juu ya maisha yako ili kwamba usiweze kukosa kitu in the mighty name of Jesus Christ achilia sadaka ama dhabiu ambayo itagusa anga itagusa mbingu itagusa ardhi itatikisa mpaka bahari kaliga jina la Yesu Kristo wanazawetalia hai. Kumbuka kwamba unapofanya hivyo unapatia Yesu chombo chako, unapatia Mungu chombo chako ili kwamba chombo chako kiweze kumfanyia kazi. Chombo chako kiweze kumfanyia kazi. Kumbuka sio sadaka tu unatoa, lakini unampatia una, una Yesu chombo chako. Na akimalizana nayo tu, wakati tu atamalizana nayo, atakubariki. Atakuinua atakukumbuka atakupigania dhidi ya maadui zako wote atakuponya magonjwa yako yote atatakasa mwili wako na afya yako ataiponya maji na kuibariki chakula chako utanawiri sana popote uendako utainuka sana nyota yako itangaa sana na kuwa bright mbele ya wanadamu Mungu ataangusha baraka zake mbinguni ili aweze kukubariki aweze kukuinua wakati ambapo unatoa sadaka weka mashaka mbali na wewe maana heri mtu yule asiye na mashaka na Mungu kwa hiyo usidoubt sadaka yako tumia namba ambayo inapita kwa screen yako ya 0711 ama namba hiyo ambayo nyingine 0701040403 in the name of Jesus Christ i will not mention your name but sadaka yako inafika tu ninaiona inafika tu ninaiona so inua sacrifice yako in the name of Jesus Christ nimeacha kutaja majina ya watu kwa sababu watu wengi niliona waliniomba kwamba wakati wanatoa sadaka nisitaje majina yao na ni vizuri kwa sababu kutoa ni siri ya moyo wa mtu ni siri ya moyo wa mtu. Ninajua wengi mmekuwa mkimpatia Yesu chombo chako akitumie. Lakini listen to me. Akishamalizana nayo tu. Akishamalizana nayo tu. Utaona baraka, utaona ushindi na watoto wako watafurahia utumishi wako ambapo ulikuwa unamtumikia Mungu katika madhabahu haya ya firelight hautakosa kitu in the name of Jesus Christ na tamka hautakosa kitu hautakosa kitu hautakosa kitu Christopher Koech hautakosa kitu Consil Muhunza hautakosa kitu Fever Bersheba hautakosa kitu 
Godfrey Kotut hautakosa kitu. Hautakosa kitu na Mlala Nebat, hautakosa kitu. Nasoma majina kwa YouTube. In the name of Jesus Christ. Esther Ndungu hautakosa kitu. Hautakosa kitu. Lea Njoroge hautakosa kitu. Evelyn Wamalwa hautakosa kitu. Shali hautakosa kitu. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, hautakosa kitu. Daniel Fundi hautakosa kitu. Pokea neema kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo. Hautakosa kitu, hautakosa kitu. Natabiria watu, natamkia watu. Hautakosa kitu. Ebala lo sibiana. Kora badeva ya dizo kata ya hautakosa kitu. Auta kosa kitu. Auta kosa kitu. Pokeeni karika jina la Yesu. Auta kosa kitu. Amuta kosa kitu. Amuta kosa kitu. Auta kosa kitu. Joy kena. Auta kosa kitu. Lilian Deritu auta kosa kitu. Yvonne Akinyi auta kosa kitu. Wycliffe Wanjala auta kosa kitu. Airin Muya auta kosa kitu. James Koinange auta kosa kitu. Daisy Chemtai auta kosa kitu. Solomon Ngigi auta kosa kitu. Henry Kiprop auta kosa kitu. Aston Dungu auta kosa kitu. Nancy Andrew auta kosa kitu in the name of Jesus Christ. Robert Likoli hauta kosa kitu in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm, Joy Kena hauta kosa kitu. Karen Minish hauta kosa kitu. Eh, Susan hauta kosa kitu. Lilian Deritu na kutamka tena hauta kosa kitu. Lucy Mureithi hauta kosa kitu. Susan Manyasi hauta kosa kitu. Auta kosa kitu, auta kosa kitu, auta kosa kitu. Suji kama tuko sawa ama buffering bado iko? Okay. Lea Njoroge auta kosa kitu, Elisha Kosgei auta kosa kitu, Godfrey Ketut, Kotut auta kosa kitu. Phyllis Mbone auta kosa kitu. In the name of Jesus Christ. Na wengine wengi wengi wengi. Auta kosa kitu, auta kosa, auta kosa. Keep on raising your sacrifice before the Lord. Na hauta kosa kitu. Hauta kosa kitu. Niandikie your dream. If you want your dream to be interpreted. Just write your dream right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wakati uo natenginezewa kebo ya simu. In the name of Jesus Christ. Joseph Moli auta kosa kitu. Auta kosa kitu. Kwa Mpesa namba tumia namba ambazo unaziona hapo. Auta kosa kitu. Auta kosa kitu. Auta kosa kitu. By fire, by force. Utafanikiwa. Auta kosa kitu. You are a living God. Yes, no one like you. Yekue me.
You are my love, my life giver, my protector, my life giver. You are a living God. Yes, thank you. Auta kosa, auta kosa. Pokea kwa jina la Yesu, auta kosa. Pokea kwa jina la Yesu, auta kosa. Auta kosa, pokea kwa jina la Yesu. Pita munga, auta kosa, pokea kwa jina la Yesu Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yesu kwetu ni rafi. Kiomba kwa baba Maombi ya sikia Auta kosa Auta kosa In the name of Jesus Christ Nataka ni kuombe Ni ombe wa Kenya Leo Auta kosa Nipatie iyo Nipatie Iyo damu na ile wakati unajiandaa kutoa unaendelea kutoa your sacrifice sadaka yako na uh, hii sadaka ya leo ni sadaka ambayo inasema sitakosa kitu na ni kweli hatutakosa tunakataa kukosa in the name of Jesus Christ sofi wa idhera utakosa kitu Grace kuto hautakosa kitu. Na mwendo wa Janet hautakosa kitu. Ivon Akinyi hautakosa kitu. Na kuona hapa. In the name of Jesus Christ. Christopher Koech hautakosa kitu. Pokea promotion in the name of Jesus Christ. Christopher Koech kuna Mungu ananiambia kuna promotion ina Kevin Gitogo hautakosa kitu Joyce Kena hautakosa kitu hautakosa kitu hautakosa kitu hautakosa kitu hautakosa kitu Mohonzi hautakosa kitu So uh Nataka uweze kuangalia hiyo thumbnail yako hapo kwa screen kwa hao watu wawili ambao unawaona hapo Watu wawili ambao unaona hapo kuna thumbnail mara mbili kuna ile wamekaa kwa kiti Punguza keyboard kidogo Ah uh, Pasa sami hatutakosa kitu. Amen. Hatutakosa hmm. kitu. Mungu anasema nawe hautakosa kitu. Amen. Joel wa bomba Isaya hautakosa kitu. Ah uh, mwingine anasema pas a prophet uh, prophet niombe kuna vitu huwa ninasikia inatembea kwa nyumba usiku tukilala na ninamwambia mzee aondoke aangalie anasema mimi nasikia vitu zangu uh, okay najua <laughs> wazee mambo ya mlango ya kanisa si mara nyingi mm mwingine anasema ah niombe sana mtumishi wa Mungu roho ya pro procrastination and laziness sickness enemies rejection na niombe nipate kazi ubarikiwe asante ah, niombe sana rejection ikaishe niombe amani nasikia sina niombe 
adui wakashindwe niombe nipate kazi niombe nipate pesa na roho ya umaskini ikaisha huyu ni mwingine mwingine anasema spirit of laziness yani imetupiwa kiroho ya uvivu tu amesikia tu hiyo kitu hiyo mm. uh, prophet wachawi wale wana kiloga ni majina yao ndio haya ni okay na ni wengi ni watu 17 <laughs> wachawi eh wachawi wameandika majina yao hapa naona moja mbili tatu nne nne doni okay lakini hawa wote ameandika sasa si, wengine si wachawi watu watatu tu ndio wachawi hapa okay eh hawa wote 17 the rest are innocent wengine sio wachawi wachawi naona ni namba namba 2 na namba 7 na namba 13 so hao nimetaja wewe ambao umeandika au tu ndio au ndio wachawi au ndio wachawi wale wanawasumbua ni watu watatu tu kati ya hao 17 wote lakini kuna wale pia ambayo wanawasungusha kiuchawi au jaandika majina yao hapa aujaandika majina yao hapa maana jina ya mutesia sioni hapa mm. sioni mutesia hapa sioni sioni ndunge hapa sioni eh wengine anasema volume please okay mm-hmm. uh, okay sawa mwingine anasema i had a dream yesterday about a gentleman whose face wasn't clear to me and he had a young child with him what could be the meaning of the dream prophet huyo anasema aliona mwanaume ambaye sura yake sio kilia sana lakini amehold mtoto hii ndoto inamaanisha kwamba and i said it again wherever you see someone ambaye anaappear in your dream na anaficha uso ili kwamba usimtambue ni mtu ambaye ni wa family ni relative eh? ni relative kwa sababu mgeni hawezi kujificha uso kwa hiyo ni mtu ambaye unamtambua ni relative alafu ile maana ya kushikilia mtoto ni kwamba kuna mtoto ako na shida kwa hiyo familia na huyo mtu ndio anahusika na matatizo ya huyo mtoto sasa that is the interpretation or the meaning of that dream hiyo ndio maana halisi ya ndoto hiyo kwa hiyo wewe mwenye ndoto umeandika angalia vizuri na uangalie sana familia yenu kuna mtoto wako na matatizo. Na ule mtoto ana matatizo. Matatizo yake yanatokana na mtu wa family. Ambaye ni mtu anaficha uso wake. Kwa sababu mtu mgeni usiyemjua hana haja ya kuficha sura. Hana haja kabisa ya kuficha ile sura yake. Kwa hiyo wakati ambapo unaona ndoto na ule mtu kwa ndoto unaona kabisa ameficha sura elewa kwamba ni relative ni relative ni mtu wa family kabisa ni relative na ni mtu wa family kabisa manga mwadime hautakosa kitu hautakosa kitu hautakosa kitu Auta kosa kitu. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shetani ataachilia baraka zako by fire by force. Manga madimi also there, there is a ministry in you. Kuna huduma Mungu amekupatia. Na hiyo huduma ambayo Mungu amekupatia ni kama naona haifanyi kazi imezuiliwa. The Lord through this revival atakupatia neema 
na uta accomplish the mission uta accomplish the mission uta accomplish the mission this is from above manga mwadini so uh, pastor sami hapa huyu anaona kwamba mtoto ameshikiliwa na mtu ambaye ameficha sura lakini ni mwanaume okay kumbuka kuna wana, wa, wachai wanaume na kuna wachai wanawake nimeona eh kwa hiyo nafikiri wewe ujaona wachai wanaume kabisa e. tena wakiwa uchi ya yeah, wakiwa uchi yeah. <laughs> tuliwakamata kabisa so nataka nizungumzie haraka haraka picha ambayo unaiona kwa oh kuna dream nyingine hapa ya ku translate Dream, dreams ni nyingi Nataka tu niseme mshindi wa kiti cha cha hiyo. Mm. Mm. Na tulisema mkutano ya beni hii ni siekewe siasa. Watu waende wapone waache kusema ati kuna anointing ya ya viti tano niweke kwa namba gani Rosalind Masharia deni yako ya viti zile ambazo uli promise unaweza kuweka kwa namba yoyote ambayo ni between 0711 ama 0701040403 between those two numbers unaweza ukaweka your promise Uh, mbele za Mungu Hizo namba tu ambazo huwa zinaapia kwa your screen two of them either 0711475571 ama 0701040403 so utaweka viti zako zile ambazo uli promise hapo utaweza kuziweka hapo na sijui naomba it kidogo ya 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 so asante uh, sana kwa hiyo um huyu anasema ameona sister ya wife ya uncle yake yeah. akisimama kwa kaburi ambaye ni kaburi ya juzi tu hiyo yes. kaburi ya juzi okay hiyo ina maana kwamba mtu huyo huenda ameuawa na mtu wa familia ambaye ni mwanamke kweli yeah that is the meaning of the dream Uh, na mwendo Janet anasema niombe apostle mimi sijui wachawi wangu just prophesy for me <laughs> na mwendo Janet naona mama mzee kabisa ambaye analoga mume wa na mwendo Janet na amekausha ame mikono amekausha mikono eh, amekausha mikono ya mume wake thank so much prophet for the revelation i wish i knew this family member prophesy for my niece whom we were told that they will make a decision by end of this february to her residence permit yeah hao wanaenda wataenda huko ngambo pray for me i'm Jackie from nairobi i want to go saudi help me to get boss yeah masi chero njo tuombe uchukue mafuta this coming sunday tutakuwa na mafuta ya touch not my anointed one na itakusaidia sana remember and never forget that this sunday kutakuwa na touch not my anointed one alafu pia nitaandaa siku mbili ya ibada ya mafuta ya utawala ama ya uongozi mafuta ya utawala. wale walikuwa wanaenda mbio <laughs> <laughs> ama walikuwa wanaipa <laughs> na 
amulala ne bad hii ndoto iliko na hii ni kali anaona ana, anaona pasta na bibi yake wakibeba mwili nani ya mzungu yeah. wakibeba mwili nani ya mzungu karibu wa mgonge nayo yeah. kwa mlango <laughs> so hii dream ombea kanisa yenu sana na mulala neighbor kwa sababu huyo mzungu the meaning of that mzungu mean meaning that the, the malaika angels wale wamekuwa waki serve kwa hiyo madhabahu watumishi hao wanawaua wanawatupa nje so mtu anaweza ona ni ndoto fulani lakini ni a very dangerous dream so ombea kanisa ombea watumishi kama bado uko hapo ombea kama bado uko hapo ombea hiyo kanisa ombea madhabahu maana umepewa hiyo ndoto Prophet niombe ili nishinde speed za laziness na pornography. Um, laziness na pornography. Hiyo ni speed moja tu. Um, na unajua ukiwa una uko addicted na hiyo pornography ujue tu wewe na umaskini mtakuwa ndugu forever. Alafu pia na marine spirit itakulemea sana but ninatamka baraka kwako na nimekutenganisha na hiyo roho tangu leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo kwa maana umeikiri Elohim he aduna Shama Shama Elohi he aduna Shama 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 e Shama Shama e Shama 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 Elohi e aduna Shama 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 for me i dreamed going to pray for people what does that mean lucy njambi uh, if you are dreaming praying for people ina maana kwamba kuna kitu cha mungu mungu ameweka ndani yako huenda sio huduma labda ni financial support ama kusaidia watu may the lord bless you ili ukapate kufanya kazi ya Mungu. Lucy Dua, pray for my family peace. God bless you, Rosalind Masharia. Mungu uzima akubariki. Um, the non joke anasema prophet Tito Lemo, please Pray for me that God will bless me with a godly wife, good wife, godly girlfriend. Get a job and start a business which is godly business. Where Prophet Tito Lemo, yeah, I am 33 years old. May the Lord bless you with a beautiful wife ambaye ni mcha Mungu in the name of Jesus Christ 
Peter Munga hautakosa kitu. Mimi pia niliota ndugu yangu akinipea pesa kwa ndoto akadisapia nikastuka nikaamuka. Ah uh, uh, Robert Likoli ukiota ndoto kama hiyo kumbuka kwamba bre, uh, financial breakthrough yako iko na uhusiano na ndugu yako. Kwa hiyo elewa neni muende tu pamoja kwa sababu kuna kitu Mungu ameweka financial breakthrough uh, kuna kitu anatembea nayo ambaye ni ya kwako kwa hiyo muombe Mungu amsaidie amuinue ili upate hautakosa kitu hautakosa kitu Shama Shama Yep coach Korir God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ Aha Hapa mvua inanyesha Mvua inanyesha kangundo kweli kweli Messages ni nyingi hapa sana 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 <laughs> sana 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 So, uh, kwa sasa mi kuna hii kiti ya AU yes. ambaye ina 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 inashindaniwa yeah. inashindaniwa kinyang'anyiro hicho <laughs> ya hao watu wawili ambao unawaona wa screen hao watu ambao unawaona kwa screen Raila Odinga na Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete Okay Hii kitu vile inaenda unajua ni siasa Ndio Pasa Sami Yes Na kuna kile kitu ambacho itafanya hawa watu wawili uh-huh. wakose wakose Yaani kuna percent kidogo itapungua kwa Kikwete na kuna percent kidogo itapungua kwa Raila Odinga. Okay. But it will be glorious yes. kwa washindi. Na hawa watu wawili unajua hii kiti ya AU Kikwete atakuwa na challenge. <laughs> Lakini pia Raila atakuwa na challenge. Na challenge ya Raila ni hii. Challenge ya Raila na ya Kikwete. 
sababu niliangalia zote mbili kwa sasa ndio na nilipoangalia zote mbili nikaona ni hatari okay. so kikwete atakuwa na challenge zake lakini ako qualify kabisa. Mm-hmm. Raila pia ako qualify kabisa. Na kuna mataifa yatamwekea Raila siasa. Okay. Na upinzani mzito sana. Mm-hmm. Uh, CV ya Raila itatuchomea. Mm-hmm. CV ya Raila I'm repeating at it again. CV ya Raila itatuchomea. Number one Remember very well Raila has been always against Israel. Okay. So kuna mataifa yatagawanyika. Mhm. Kwa sababu kumbuka Raila alikuwa na ako against Palestine uh, against Israel. Yeah. Ah. Uh, lakini Kikwete hajawahi kuongelelea hiyo jambo na hajawahi kusikika. So kuna upande mwingine CV itachomea Raila. Number one, kuna mataifa watamnyima kura kwa sababu ya Israeli. Yeah. Kumbuka anapigiwa kura na marais. Mm-hmm. Sisi tunapenda sana apate hiyo kiti. Mm-hmm. Lakini challenge ambayo niliona ni kwenye mataifa mengine. Mataifa ya Kiarabu watampatia kura. Okay mataifa ya Kiarabu mm-hmm. lakini hawatampatia kura zao zote kwa sababu kumbuka mataifa ya Kiarabu ni Waislamu mm-hmm. na Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete ni Muislamu okay atakao hapo sasa kidogo watagawana mm-hmm. alafu CV ya Kikwete ni clear na ni clean very clean Alafu ile kiti upole wa Kikwete Ile kiti inavuta upole wa Kikwete namna hii kwa sababu ile kiti haitaki mtu wa fujo Sasa CV kidogo itatuchomea okay. CV itatuchomea uh-huh. CV yetu itatuchomea Sababu wa, wa, wa mataifa mengine, mengine wataanza kufuatilia Raila na CV yake. Okay. Na hii kitu ya wakenya kutokea barabarani na kutupa mawe kurushia polisi mawe kuchoma maduka za watu Makosi. na nini? Unaona ile makosa yetu sasa tuko nayo. CV Raila is very qualified kwa hiyo kiti. Kitu ambayo itatuchomea we Kenyans. Number one, CV ya kiongozi yeah. wetu. Okay. Number two, being against Israel. Lakini number three, it is good for Raila to look for this position but for me as a prophet it is very dangerous for Raila okay. to sit on this seat very dangerous do you know why I know why now you sit asema but it is very dangerous for him this seat is very dangerous for him. Why? Because watamalizia huko. For Kikwete Kikwete unajua ni mpole ndio <laughs> na ni mtulivu sana. Kapisa. Ako qualify kivi yake. Okay. Na Kikwete ni Muislamu. Na unajua Waislamu wana kura. Eh. Yeah. So hii Kenya unajua Kenya uchaguzi ya Kenya imeharibia viongozi wa Kenya majina. 
imetuharibia majina kabisa imetuharibia sana kila uchaguzi kwa sababu kila uchaguzi wa Kenya wanamwaga damu na wakati tunamwaga damu tunapigana tunachomana usifikiri mataifa mengine hawatuangali wanatuangalia tu wanatuangalia maana sasa kama tunatangazwa mpaka kwa BBC yeah. <laughs> kila mwaka yes. sasa ile kitu ambayo itakwenda kuinuka katika kinyang'anyiro hiki ni kuangalia CV kwa hiyo ile challenge ambayo tuko nayo we as Kenyans because it, ni maombi yangu na maombi yetu sana kama wa Kenya kwamba tuweze kuomba ama tuweze kumtakia mema Raila Odinga apate ikiti sababu itakuwa ni mara ya kwanza East Africa A, ama kama itakuwa ni Kikwete ama Raila yeah. kwa hiyo ndio maana nimesema nikimwangalia huyu amevaa suti ya blue Jakaya Murisho Kikwete the former president of Tanzania moyo wangu unastuka sana <laughs> sana Ruto will vote for Raila yeah Museveni will vote for Jakaya okay according to Unaona ndio South Africa will vote for Raila <laughs> Morocco will vote for Kikwete hizi okay. mataifa hizi mataifa tu unaona watagawana kura watagawana kura. So mataifa ya amani watakataa Raila. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu ya CV. Yeah. Asa pale pale mbele kabisa kura zitakuja kuhesabiwa. Eh, anasema sound please. Kura zitakuja kuhesabiwa. Nakumbuka unabii wangu kabisa niliopeana kwa ibada. Unabii wangu kumbuka niliopeana kwa ibada. Kwa hiyo ninaona CV ikituchomea. Lakini qualification tuko nayo. 